hello everybody and welcome back to another scripting tutorial on Roblox. So today is going to be a question system. So you'll input your answer here and then it will say if it's right or not, depending on what you said. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is just open a new place on Studio. Really simple, but yeah, let's just start that. Okay, so now the place is loaded, we're going to get started. So the first thing we need to do is the GUI that we need, so just make a screen GUI, just call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it a random thing. And make a frame and make it the full size. Other than that, you can really do whatever you want for the colours, you can put anything you want. However, there is a few main things that you need to put for this to actually work. So the first thing is a text label called you can just put whatever you want and then it, it needs to be called question name exactly name like that and obviously you can do whatever you want with this you can make it however big you like all right so the next thing you need is a text box and you'll just need to call this answer input just like that and once again you can do whatever you want with it resize it however you like and then the final thing you need is a text button simply called submit just like that so that is all you actually need and other than that you can put in anything you want okay so the first thing we need to do is just create a module script and this is actually going to hold our questions inside of it so inside the script just type module dot questions and basically you're just going to add questions in here and I'll tell you the format and how to add them so basically I'm just going to say who is the founder of Roblox and then you need to put one of these lines here and then just type your answer here and then just if you want to add more then just put a semicolon and then add another question that's basically all we need for the script and obviously you can add as many questions as you want you can add a thousand for all the game cars so let's continue. Right, so before we start the next script, we're just going to add a remote event called send question. That's all we're going to need for this. And then let's just start with the, ne the next script. And we're just going to call this here question script. So first of all, we're just going to get a function for when the player is added. Let's add argument for the player so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to require the question script so local question script equals can say require and then game dot script service dot questions and then that is going to get what we need right here we're just going to get the questions here I just, I'm just getting them here so this is gonna get the table from this script and it's just going to put it into here so we can just use it for um for use so now we're just going to get a question and we're just going to randomize the question by just doing this And there we go, so this should randomize the question for us, and this is going to be the question that we're going to get here. And it should work just fine uh, in randomizing the question. So now, we're just going to split the answer, which is actually um, how we're going to get our answer, which is... We're just going to split it with this here, so it's going to split here, so this is going to be the question, this bit here, and then this bit is going to be the answer and then our final variables here are we're just going to 
you find the real question, which is the first part of the split table. And then we're going to get our answer, which is the second part of the split table. Yeah, so this is all the variables we need, so let's get right into it. To start off with, we're going to actually send the question. to the client so we're just going to say play which is the person we're sending it to and then we're going to send the arguments which is the real question and the answer so we're just going to do this and this is going to send it to the player so they know what the question actually is so this is the end of the play added function so we're just going to dot that for now and we're going to go into our next script which is getting it on the client actually before we start the script we're just going to add in some string values just two string values real quick one is going to be called the question and second one is going to be called the answer basically what this is going to do is we're going to set the value of the question and the answer and then another script in here is going to change the text on here so that we know what the question is and then we know what the answer is so the next script is just going to be nowhere it's just going to be in here and we're just going to call this receive answer so what it's going to do is when it receives the answer it's going to run some code that changes the values of these here So that's this script done, so every quarter of a second it's going to check if this is run and then if it has it's going to receive the question and the answer so it's going to set the value of this to here and it's going to set the value of this to the answer and then every 0 0.25 seconds it's going to change the text of this here to the um, question which is here so that's it for that script, so for the next script and the final script under the submit button we're going to do a log script which is called commit so when someone clicks this is going to run but first of all we're going to define a variable which is local right equals false so it's going to set this value to true if it's right and it's going to keep it to false if it's wrong and then we're going to start the function of when it is clicked Even though system else one click, it's still going to work on mobile. Even if they just tap it, it's still going to work on mobile, so you don't need to worry about adding one for mobile. We're going to find another variable, which is local text, and we're going to set it to So now we're going to do an if statement, which is we're just going to lower the text. I'm just going to see if it finds it. So if it does find that, then we're going to set right to true, and if it doesn't, then it's going to set right to false. And then if it is wrong, we're just going to set the text 
of it. So we're just going to set it to incorrect. The correct answer is, and then we're going to indent that. And I'm just going to do So this one is going to set the text to incorrect and it's going to set the answer. I'm just going to wait three seconds. And I'm just going to set text to nothing. And then we're going to send the question. The argument right. So this is going to send true or false depending on if it's wrong or right. So before we um, finish off this, I just want to make sure that actually, make sure your answer doesn't have a capital letter, because we, since we lower the string in here, then it's going to say wrong if it has a capital letter, so make sure it doesn't have a capital letter. So yeah, let's finish this. Basically, to finish this off, we're just going to do um, when it's received. I'm going to receive the argument of player and if it's right or not. And then just to finish this off, we can literally just copy and paste this and then we're done. So we can go here to test this out. So for a test day, I actually just want to change the text instead of it just being the text and change to this here so it changes this one to the text instead. And also, we're just going to add it, we're going to copy and paste this to down here. And we're just going to say correct. And that should work, so let's go ahead and test it. The first question is, who messaged you when you first joined Roblox? So in the questions, it says build a man. So if we just copy that, and you see, it says correct, but yeah, it's kind of buggy, so we'll have a look at that, actually. Delete the while wait loop, and we'll just get this here and we'll put it here instead so that should work now let's test it then how many uses does robots have so if you look in here it says three billion so we can type in here three billion and it says correct and then it's going to work to change it's here so we the answer is hypixel which is correct and now i'm going to type it incorrectly which is First type me, then it says incorrect. And even if I type it in caps, it says it's correct. Anyway, that's going to be it. There's going to be a model in the description if you want to use it and you're just lazy. Also, there's going to be paste bins for the scripts. Just please subscribe. Okay, goodbye.